Hello, lovers. <laughs> Just kidding. Wouldn't that be so gross if I did that every time? You know, honestly, though, in my late 20s, early 30s, I might have. But I'm all better now, as many of my stories end. <laughs> I'm all better now. But seriously, this apple. <sighs> delicious, delicious apple. Who doesn't love apples? And you know, one of the reasons they smell so good, you know this gross little end part? You know what that, why that's like that? Because this used to be a flower. The stem here that you pull off went to the tree, and this was like a flower. And then the flower, I don't know, bulbed out. I'm not really sure how it works, but if you're into science or nature or anything, look it up on the internet. It's really neat. Apple blossoms. You've heard of apple blossoms. So the flower blossoms, and then somehow it turns into this delicious thing. I have a good story about apples and Alicia's dad. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, April 17th or whatever. Uh, now is the part in the vlog journey where I don't remember if I've told you certain stories or not. And it's way too long to go back and look. So, um, yeah. So uh, some of you have commented uh, that watching the vlog is like hanging out with me and that's just like hanging out with me I'll tell you the same damn story over and over sometimes my only hope is that the facts remain consistent because <laughs> I'm a cook after all prone to hyperbole but uh... this is not hyperbole squeeze for you Julie if I'm ever famous and on TV you know how Carol Burnett did her ear to tell her mom that she was okay? I'm going to squeeze my nose to let Julie know I'm okay. Here's something big. Uh, the bestie, Andrew Keller, that I was told you guys about many times. Well, his niece, Renee uh, Millam, and her and Jeremy had a baby. Little Dominic, uh, cute as can be. And um, congratulations, you guys. And Andy went to the hospital to go see the baby. He goes, and there's some girl there. And, you know, they, you know, she's talking to Renee, and the girl leaves. And Andy goes, oh, who is that? And Renee says, that's my sister. Andy's niece. So it's one of those situations. It's weird. It's very topical. All over Facebook, everybody's like, you know, I was born this time, and... Giving up for adoption, da da da. I'm looking for my bro. Well, Andy has a, another niece, and her name's Kelly, and he's excited to get to know her. Um, she seems really cool. I just found this out last night, so that's pretty darn exciting. Um, all I can say to him is congratulations. <laughs> that's all. I mean, he was kind of in shock when he called me. I was kind of in shock when he told me. So the only genuine, honest emotion that welled up was congratulations. You've got a new family member. And, um, you know, let's keep it real. Everybody who has family, we've got history. So it's this grown person that's really cool that you've never fought with yet. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, as John Tappert would say, How cool is that? So I'll keep you guys posted as I hear about it. Um, I want to go visit him. You know, just money and time and all that BS, but... <clears throat> You know, there keeps building up more and more reasons. I haven't met his youngest daughter yet. So, I'm going to make, well, I was going to make stuffed peppers for dinner tonight. Um, stuffed with couscous, veggie crumbles, sautéed onions and mushrooms. But poor Alicia has a cold, and she wouldn't be able to taste it. So, I'm just going to eat uh, pasta. I'm going to sauté myself some veggies and put it on some leftover pasta. Um, just ate some chips and sauce, and I'm going to give Alicia some, um, vegetable soup and crackers. Poor honey. I'm taking good care of her, though. Don't you guys worry. Dr. Duncan is in the house. Or as they used to call me, Dr. Duncanstein. Or Vampiro. Or Diablo. Diablo! That's what they used to call me in, uh, Whole Foods. So, now begins the time when I'm probably going to start telling you guys the same stories over and over, so... Uh, nobody watches them all anyway. Alright, I got more to tell you, so I'll have to see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.